All right, hello everyone. Eric Marks here again with FindingMiddleEarth.com, and today I'm bringing you part four of my new free YouTube series called Photoshop Made Easy. Uh, so today, instead of working on a specific tool or feature inside of Photoshop, um, I get a lot of questions on how I, uh, like the small workflow process, on how I save and organize my PSD files or my TIFF files whenever I open it up from my raw processor into Photoshop and make the edits. How do I get the, the Photoshop edits back into the raw processor uh, in a, a tidy and organized way? Uh, so uh, a lot of, I know a lot of you use Lightroom. Uh, I use Capture One and On One. So I'm gonna use Lightroom for an example and then I'll use Capture One for an example so I can just show you how I would do it, okay? So let's hop into Lightroom. Okay, so uh, let's just pick, uh, I don't know, we'll just pick this photo here. All right, let me hit D to get to the develop module. So let's say that uh, I have like a, a main photo that I took. Let's say it's this one, okay? And I wanna add things to this photo. So for example, let's say I wanted to add this photo, the clouds from this photo to it, so that way we have those nice uh, detail in the clouds. And maybe I'll add, a, you know, maybe, let's say that I had four or five other photos where I wanted to add some color from another photo and a nicer foreground or whatever. Uh, so the, the question is, how do we start uh, getting everything into Photoshop so that we don't have to export it from Photoshop and re-import it back into Lightroom and make Lightroom have to reread the metadata and re-recognize the photo? We, we need to figure out a way to create a streamlined uh, direct line of communication from Lightroom to Photoshop, right? So that way, anything I do in Photoshop, Lightroom knows what's up. So here's what we're gonna do. Pick the main photo that you wanna work with. I'm just gonna say it's this one, okay? Because this is my like middle exposure, it's a long exposure. Uh, so I'm gonna pick this one, and you might think to just go up to File and Export, and then just go ahead and hit the Export. Uh, but if you do that, then you can, you can open it up into Photoshop, but the second that you export it like that, uh, Lightroom immediately loses control of it. It, it. it no longer knows what's what's going to be done to that photo. You can edit it in a million different softwares and Lightroom is gonna have no clue what to do. You're gonna have to export it from whatever software, Photoshop or whatever, and then re-import it back into Lightroom. We need to create that direct line of communication. So the way to do that is to, to Take the, like, again, the main file, the main photo that you want to work with, take it, right click it, go to edit in, and then choose Photoshop. Okay? And then I'm just going to hit open anyway because I don't have the most updated version of Camera Raw yet. Um, okay, so just wait for that to open. And so what we did just there by clicking the edit in function is that we created a direct line of communication from Lightroom to this specific Photoshop document, okay? This specific one. So now we can go back into Lightroom and take any other photo we want to add to that one. So remember we, we said maybe we'll add this one here. Um, so here's the thing. You might say, oh, okay, great. So we'll add this one to it. We'll go to edit in and we'll do the same thing. But if we did that, then now we're creating two Photoshop documents that have a line of communication with Lightroom. We don't care to create any other documents. We want one document where we can drop in multiple photos and then if we do an exposure blend or whatever, we just want it to come back into Lightroom as one single file. We don't want to have to keep up with a bunch of different copies and a bunch of different virtual variants inside of Lightroom, right? We just want it to all come in in one organized singular file. So the way to do that is from now on, if we want to add any more photos to that Photoshop document, like this one, for example, we just head up to file and do the traditional export way. I created a little preset for myself that just exports it as a PSD. And then down here, uh, it says after export, I have it open inside of Photoshop. And if you do that, I'm gonna choose unique names there. And if you do that, it's gonna open inside of Photoshop inside of a separate document. That's very important. See, look, we have two separate tabs up here. That's important because now this document has no communication with Lightroom. Once I save this or close this or whatever, Lightroom is, is not gonna be, uh, in control, it's not gonna know anything, there's gonna be no copies of this photo, but this first document has that line of communication. So anything that happens inside of this document, Lightroom's gonna know about it. So all we do is every time we open up another photo and export out of Lightroom, we just need to make sure we hit Command A to select it, Command C to copy it, Command W to close it, and then boom, Command V, and paste it into the document that has the, the line of communication with Lightroom. Because now that we got this 
photo in, in this document. Now anything we do to these photos, Lightroom's gonna know about, right? Lightroom's gonna, gonna uh, be able to save that copy when we save this document. So let's just uh, do, prove it to you here, okay? Let's show, show you an example. So I'm not gonna actually blend these together. We'll just uh, create a mask and uh, just do something quick so that you can see what I'm talking about here. So let's just paint in uh, some of that bright exposure, okay? Uh, here we go. So let's just say, oh yeah, that's a great blend. We're happy with that and we're ready to go back into Lightroom and save everything. Let's say that we've just spent like two hours making this perfect, okay? So now all we have to do is go up here to File and Save, not Save As, Save. And the second we hit Save, you'll see this little progress bar happen down here. And as soon as that progress bar is finished, all we have to do is go back to Lightroom down here and check it out. It already created a copy of that original photo. So here's number one of two. That's the blend we did inside of Photoshop. And here's two of two, which is the original raw file that we started with. And now what we did was take the, the photo that was over here, the one that we took, and the original one here. We took it into Photoshop and we were able to make it come back into Lightroom in one single file. So that's how I do it. Every time I take my main photo, I do edit in, shoot it to Photoshop, and then any other photo, I don't care if there's 10 other brackets that I wanna to add to it, I just do the traditional export so that I can copy and paste them into that one single document that has that line of communication with Lightroom. Okay, so that's it, easy peasy. Now let's give you an example of how to do that inside of Capture One. So here's Capture One, okay? Uh, it's the same basic thing. I'm not gonna go through the whole process, but it's the same basic thing. Uh, let's say that I want to um, take the foreground from this photo, which I actually did this um, a few vlogs ago. This is a photo I took, okay? I'll take the foreground from this, and let's take the background from this one. So what I would do is I would do a right click, and I would do Edit With, Okay, and it'll, it's a little different. It'll bring up a little dialog box here. And I would do edit variant inside of Photoshop and it would open up the same way. It would, cre it would create its own little uh, Photoshop document. And then I would take the underexposed one here, all right, for the sky. And I would come here to the little cog wheel on the end. And I've created a little preset called blend in Photoshop. I just hit the check mark and it, it look, PSD. It's gonna open inside of Photoshop afterwards. Uh, it's gonna add HDR blend onto the file name, and that's it. That's all there is to it. And then I do the same thing. As soon as that one goes into Photoshop, I copy it, I paste it into the original document from this photo up here uh, that has the direct line of communication with Capture One. And then when I'm done with that Photoshop document, I just hit File Save, and it comes right back into Capture One, just like this one did, if you can see this right here. That's exactly what I did with this photo. I took the foreground here, did the edit in, I did the uh, background here, just doing the traditional export, and it all came back in in one single file. There you go, easy that. So that's how I handle my uh, PSD uh, Photoshop edit management workflow. Uh, I just make sure there's one file, uh, one line of communication, and I just keep adding photos to it. And uh, that's it. So hope you guys enjoyed uh, part four of Photoshop Made Easy. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you would like to find out more about me and how you can improve your photography, please check out my premium tutorials at findingmiddleearth.com store.